Okay, so now I'm on to the fine edit. Um, I've trimmed this down a bit. I think, well, I hope the pacing's a little better and that sort of stuff on the audio side of things. Sorry, on the visual side of things and how the audio will work with it all. Um, so I need to adjust things a little. I'm going to disable this media pool part and that will give me all my effects library, as in this thing. If it doesn't appear, just hit the thing up there. I also have the inspector, which allows me to control aspects of the video, but I don't need to worry about this in this case because I'm not really concerning myself with that sort of stuff. Oh, that's cute. Get both shots as opposed to one. Anyhow, moving right along, I have my video transitions toolbox. I think yours will default to there. Um, there's a whole bunch of other stuff in here, but I'm going to start with the simplest form of transition that there is, which is a fade. So here, right click on it and a cross fade dissolve. What that will do, come on, just thinking maybe I'll do this one. If I zoom in, then I might have to raise these up a little bit. I'm not worried about the audio stuff, so I'll just get that out of the way. Normally what happens, and maybe it's too, yep, it's too small, you can't see it. Um, this bit will fade out, this bit will fade in. So, you get something like this. Now, it's got a crossfade dissolve, so if we layer the two like this, we get this effect. So, it cuts time a little bit, but it also transitions from one, one part of the scene to the next. So, zipping back out, of course, you can set these transitions to be as short or as long as preset here. Now, we have additional stuff, and I'm just going to grab this whole timeline and shuffle it up because I did just adjust things. We have blurs added results. So the blur would actually be useful when the knocking happens. Somewhere around here. Who else? So that would be a great place for a blur dissolve. So we'll just drop that in, in about there, across both things. And because they're on two different layers, I'll have to blur both layers individually. Um, God, that looks awful at the moment. So let's zoom in and fix this thing up. And as you can see here, my blurs Uh, I'm just going to undo it, control Z, and then just drop that one in there, I think, so that. Who else knows we're here? Oh, play it again. Try again. Who else knows we're here? And this has got a bit of a lag on it, so I assume the audio from um, OBS is being problematic as well. But you can see how you have a whole library of different effects, irises, crossfades, etc. To give you, and that gives you an indication of what it will look like, including the classic Star Wars wipe. You should be able to work out how to do that. So, you know, if I then have all this on the same timeline and do the blur dissolve like this. Who else knows we're here? You can see that happen there. So it really, with this stage, it's just experiment with the transitions to see what they do and try and work stuff that will benefit the scene. So if we go to here, an additive dissolve. So somewhere about there. Adds one to the other. Cross dissolve. So, oh, and the smooth cut's a special case, and there's, um, I'm trying to remember the stuff I've seen on it, but basically it's trying to match one, one part to the next one. So if you've got two different cuts of the same shot, but they're, say, different takes, then you can smooth cut them together so they look like they're the one take. Um, but, you know, this is covering the ideas behind uh, all of this. So if I just go... Uh, cross dissolve. Let's drop one of those in there. You can see. So, what's the offer? There. And so on and so forth, and etc. etc. And you, you get the idea, though, and that's all I really wanted to convey at this point. 
Um, that should be enough now to show how to do the fine edit, but of course the devil's in the detail and getting the pacing right and getting the story unfolding and using the appropriate transitions to either add or, or to control the energy level of the scene and really hear what you're doing is you're taking what the actors are doing and, and trying to amp it up or, or smooth it out and make it look better. And that's really the goal at this stage. So I'm going to draw this to a close here. The last thing I need to touch on is actually the delivery and I'll do that in just a moment, but um, well, in the next, next tutorial. And yeah, I'm going to call this here and that's pretty simple, but you know, all the work was done beforehand. I mean, this is the important thing to notice. You know, building the shot list, um, trimming down your particular shots to just what you need, and then you can assemble them reasonably easy, and then the transitions is just dropping stuff in. So it's made life a lot easier, stuff like this, this program. Anyhow, next up, delivery.